Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? And I'm going to add my next photo file open. Grab the skier. And I'm going to uh, make sure, actually, I'm going to make sure it's the select right thing is selected my large photo because I want it to clip right above that then I'm going to come back I'm going to drag this in over here move this back and then I'm going to come to layer group with previous then I'm going to move it around and you can resize it if you want to just by grabbing this and moving it and I press enter and then we can start customizing the rest of it. I'm going to customize the colors of, of the uh, title here. This is the sunburst. I'm going to just change this to web only and I'm just going to pick a gray color and then I'm going to click OK and the half tone, pick the same gray and I'm going to change this name to the other font and I'm going to come over here to the type tool and change this to I have my cap lock on and I'm going to change the color of this to white and I'm going to come up here to this and I'm going to use the other font and I'm going to change this and if you want to, you can change any of these to any color. So I'm going to change these to white so you can see them better with this picture. And target. Oh, there's the right one. Click OK. And if you wanted to, if you wanted the half tone to be underneath, you could select the color fill and the half tone. Shift, select. You have to hold down the shift key to select them both. And you could move that down to below rectangle if you wanted that to be behind the title. And you can do the same for sunburst. Oop. I've got that and then I press shift and select this and then I arrow down to underneath rectangle. And then I can also change these words but just by clicking on them. Another thing that you can do is you can select your move tool and you can move um, multiple layers like if you wanted to move this whole heading you could just press shift and come all the way down to shift and then you can just move that I'm going to turn off auto select layer so it moves it all. Oh, I didn't get the 2010. But you can move that to a different area. And then you can rotate it a little bit if you want by grabbing that edge. Press enter. And then you can auto select layer. And then you can just move other parts that you missed. And you can move every section like this just by either, you know, grabbing the whole area over here with your layers. That's another extra one that you can use. By selecting the layers over here, you can do shift to select groups of layers that are all together. And you can use control if they are not together. See these are not um, in a row but you can select them by holding down your control and then selecting them. So that's how that works. And that covers the basics of how to Customize Quick Poster Volume 8. Enjoy the template. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have yourself a creative day.